I, I do think that Tesla Semi, again, with autonomy, is going to be incredibly valuable. The Semi is a TCO no-brainer. You know, it, it, it has a total cost of ownership. It's much, much cheaper than any other transportation you can have. Elon Musk recently confirmed that 2025 is the best time to buy a Tesla Semi, with potential savings of up to 22% on total cost of ownership. In just the next five years, stricter regulations on operating Class 8 trucks, along with increased safety inspections and fines for traffic violations, could make profitability even more challenging. Local governments may impose tighter controls, turning minor infractions into costly penalties. In this evolving landscape, the cutting-edge technology of Tesla's electric trucks presents a game-changing solution, helping operators avoid these pitfalls while maximizing efficiency and savings. The Tesla Semi has proven its capabilities with a 500-mile range on a single charge and the ability to recharge up to 70% in under 30 minutes. Thanks to Tesla's advanced in-house battery technology, the Department of Transportation, DOT, will not need to raise the current 80,000-pound weight limit, giving the Semi a significant advantage over traditional diesel trucks. But what exactly sets Tesla's electric truck apart? And why is developing a battery-powered semi such a groundbreaking achievement? In today's episode, we're diving into four key reasons why Elon Musk is confident that Tesla's electric trucks will dominate the market in 2025. And reason number four is almost unbelievable. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Despite accounting for just 1% of total vehicle production, Trucks are responsible for 20% of all emissions and over one-third of particulate matter. Even more concerning, they contribute the majority of carcinogenic diesel emissions, posing significant environmental and health risks. At the Tesla Semi launch event, Elon Musk declared it to be a superior product in every aspect. Not only does it boast cutting-edge features, but it also delivers a compelling economic advantage over diesel trucks even under the most challenging conditions. In some cases, it could even rival rail transport. However, developing the Tesla CMI isn't as simple as just installing batteries, adding an electric motor, and marketing it under Musk's vision. Creating a truly groundbreaking electric truck requires overcoming significant engineering challenges to ensure the final product is not only functional, but also practical, scalable, and capable of meeting real-world transportation demands. How will the 2025 tax policy changes benefit truck drivers? As Elon once said, I don't know why a trucking company wouldn't want to save money. It's all about fuel. For example, Jake, a 47-year-old truck driver from California who recently shared his experience. According to him, the cost of a new diesel sleeper truck today can reach $250,000 after all necessary paperwork and fees. But that's just the beginning. The real expense comes from fuel. Over 8.19 years of operation, a diesel truck will burn through $620,000 in fuel costs. In contrast, a Tesla Semi would only require $155,000 in electricity over the same period. That means the true cost of ownership for a Tesla Semi, priced between $180,000 and $250,000, is an absolute bargain when factoring in long-term savings. With major political shifts in the U.S. in 2025, regulations surrounding the electric vehicle market have also changed significantly. One of our biggest areas of focus right now is the tax credit provisions under the Inflation Reduction Act, and how they will impact the industry moving forward. As we know, the Trump administration has issued an order to end federal tax credits for EV purchases, eliminate federal subsidies for charging stations, and halt loans and grants supporting assembly line upgrades and battery manufacturing facilities. This sudden shift will undoubtedly cause confusion among many consumers. However, Elon Musk has made it clear that he doesn't rely on government incentives or tax credits to make the Tesla Semi cost-effective. That said, the provisions in the Inflation Reduction Act, IRA, would have made the EV market even more financially attractive. As long as Tesla and other U.S. electric truck manufacturers meet the requirements for using domestically produced components and batteries. Under the new law, Qualified buyers of heavy-duty electric trucks can receive a $40,000 tax credit, 
equivalent to up to 15% of the cost of a traditional diesel semi-truck. However, pricing details for many electric truck models remain somewhat unclear. In addition to federal incentives, major states like New York and California are offering rebate programs that reimburse part of the cost for heavy-duty electric trucks purchased within their jurisdictions. For those unfamiliar with how this tax credit works, here's a quick recap. To qualify for Tesla's 2025 EV tax credit, certain key conditions must be met. The vehicle must be a new Tesla, purchased for personal use, and comply with the manufacturing and sourcing requirements established by the Inflation Reduction Act. These rules dictate that the vehicle's final assembly must occur in North America and that a specific percentage of its battery components must be sourced from North America or countries with U.S. free trade agreements. Additionally, income restrictions apply to eligibility for this tax credit. In 2025, the exact tax credit amount for Tesla vehicles will depend on battery capacity and vehicle classification. Larger battery packs typically qualify for higher incentives, making certain models more advantageous than others. For instance, the Model Y Long Range may receive a higher credit than the Model 3 Standard Range Plus. Similarly, the Tesla Semi, offering up to 800 kilometers or 500 miles of range per charge, could qualify for a larger credit than smaller EVs. Based on the current provisions of the Inflation Reduction Act, the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, allows commercial electric vehicles to receive up to $40,000 in tax credits, depending on battery size and intended use. Given its heavy-duty classification and long-range battery, the Tesla Semi is likely to be eligible for the maximum incentive, making it an even more compelling choice for fleet operators looking to cut costs. In 2025, tax credits for electric vehicles will vary based on classification and battery size. Personal EVs can receive up to $7,500, while heavy-duty commercial EVs like the Tesla Semi may qualify for up to $40,000 or 30% of the vehicle's price, whichever is lower. With the Tesla Semi's estimated cost ranging from $180,000 to $200,000, this tax credit could significantly lower the upfront investment. However, the final amount will depend on IRS regulations in 2025. Andrew, a seasoned truck driver with over five years of experience, is considering purchasing a Tesla Semi priced at $180,000. With an assumed $40,000 tax credit, his effective cost drops to $140,000, providing substantial financial relief. This reduction directly offsets his tax liability, making the semi a more attractive investment. The savings could be reinvested into insurance, maintenance, or other operational expenses, enhancing affordability and increasing the appeal of transitioning to electric trucking. Let's take a real-world example from DHL and SIA. In California, where the average electricity price makes each 1.7 kilowatt hour cost approximately $0.3 per mile, a Tesla Semi traveling 6.5 miles would only incur an energy cost of around $3.3. In comparison, a diesel truck consuming 1 gallon per mile would incur a fuel cost of around $3 per mile. 6.5 miles would cost about $3.66 at current fuel prices. While this per-mile difference might seem minor, when scaled to hundreds of thousands of miles annually, it translates into massive savings for fleet operators. However, fuel savings are just the beginning. One of the Tesla Semi's most disruptive advantages lies in its simplified, ultra-efficient design, which completely redefines traditional trucking. Unlike diesel trucks, laden with bulky combustion engines, complex gearboxes, and hundreds of moving parts prone to wear, the Tesla Semi eliminates nearly all of these failure points. This translates into drastically lower maintenance costs, saving companies tens of thousands of dollars annually. Tesla estimates that the Semi's maintenance cost is only 10 cents per mile, meaning a driver logging 100,000 miles per year would spend just $50,000 over five years. In contrast, a traditional diesel truck costs around 20 cents per mile doubling the expense to $100,000 over the same period. 
But the savings don't stop there. Diesel trucks are not only more expensive to maintain, but they also require frequent servicing, including engine oil changes, exhaust system repairs, and complex internal engine maintenance. Every service downtime not only adds expenses, but also takes trucks off the road, disrupting logistics and cutting into a company's bottom line. How superior is the Tesla Semi Gen 2's operating range? With the Tesla Semi, everything is much simpler. Fewer breakdowns, less time spent on maintenance, and lower operating costs. On steep inclines with heavy loads, it isn't just more powerful, it's also far safer. Tesla claims the Semi can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds, even with a full load on a 10% grade, an impossible feat for a diesel truck, which risks tipping over under similar conditions. The Tesla Semi currently operates with a 900 kilowatt hour battery pack, consuming 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile, enabling a verified range of up to 500 miles during testing. However, Tesla plans to transition to 4680 battery technology in the next generation Semi, which will be produced at a new facility instead of continuing with the current 2170 cells. Switching to 4680 batteries could represent a major leap in performance for Tesla's electric semi-truck. With a significantly larger size, the 4680 cells offer approximately five times the energy capacity and six times the power output compared to the 2170 cells. This allows the semi to achieve greater range without requiring a substantial increase in battery cell count, an especially critical factor for electric trucks as reducing overall vehicle weight enhances freight carrying capacity. The Tesla Semi boasts remarkable durability, with an operational uptime of up to 95%, including all maintenance. One Semi has logged over 250,000 miles in just 1.5 years, proving its reliability before requiring major servicing. In contrast, diesel trucks become increasingly expensive to maintain over time diminishing their long-term economic viability. Advancing battery energy density is the key driver behind the next era of electric vehicles, and Tesla has led the charge with cutting-edge innovations in this space. In reality, there's no proprietary Tesla technology that companies like BMW or Ford couldn't replicate and refine. That's why Elon Musk is doubling down on vertical integration, shifting toward a more closed-loop manufacturing process. The 2025 Tesla Semi will feature Tesla's in-house 4680 battery cells, replacing the 2170 cells used in earlier versions. Tesla's battery technology, at its core, is a masterclass in branding and marketing. To determine the energy required for different truck variants, engineers first calculate the total energy consumption over a given range. This involves accounting for the force needed to overcome inertia, air resistance, rolling friction on the wheels, and gravitational force when climbing inclines. From these calculations, the necessary battery capacity can be accurately defined. Tesla reports that the semi boasts an astonishing drag coefficient of just 0.36, sleek enough to outperform even a Bugatti Chiron in aerodynamic efficiency. How does the Tesla Semi Gen 2 performance beat the rivals? In the U.S., heavy-duty semi-trucks are classified as Class 8 vehicles, with a federally mandated maximum weight limit of 80,000 pounds, 36 tons, including both the truck and its cargo. Any increase in the truck's weight directly reduces its payload capacity, a critical factor in the freight industry. Unlike fossil fuels, batteries have a lower energy density, making it a significant challenge to design an electric truck that is both practical and competitive in long-haul logistics. If a truck without batteries weighs around 15,000 pounds, 7 tons, that leaves 64,000 pounds, 29 tons, for both the battery pack and cargo. This presents a crucial design trade-off. Because more batteries extend driving range, but reduce cargo capacity. And fewer batteries increase cargo capacity, but limit range. So what is Tesla's solution? Elon Musk has estimated that the Tesla Semi isn't just fast, it redefines freight capacity. 
while its 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in 20 seconds under full load is impressive. The real game changer is its lightweight design. With an empty weight of approximately 27,000 pounds, the Tesla Semi can carry up to 44,000 pounds of cargo, matching or even exceeding many diesel rivals. By optimizing efficiency, the Tesla Semi enables businesses to transport more goods per trip, maximize revenue, and achieve a return on investment in under two years. In an industry where every pound and every mile matters, the Tesla Semi offers a clear financial and operational advantage. How did Tesla secure the charging system for the Tesla Semi? At the beginning of 2024, the number of Tesla supercharger stations across U.S. states saw impressive growth. California led the way, with 426 stations and 8,361 charging ports, reflecting the state's high EV adoption rate. Florida and Texas followed closely, with 150 and 149 stations, providing 1,992 and 2,178 charging ports, respectively. States like New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, New Jersey, North Carolina, Washington, and Illinois each had then between 56 and 85 stations, with a total of 932 to 1,100 charging ports. The rapidly expanding supercharger network continues to support the nationwide transition to electric vehicles. Tesla's approach to scaling up the semi is both strategic and methodical. By starting with limited production, the company gathers real-world feedback from drivers, fleet operators, business owners, and regulatory agencies to refine the vehicle before ramping up mass production. A great example of this strategy in action is Frito-Lay's Modesto facility, which underwent a transformation in 2019 to showcase the benefits of zero emission and near zero emission technologies. This project successfully reduced greenhouse gas emissions by 91%, demonstrating the potential of electric trucking. PepsiCo took this initiative even further by partnering with the California Air Resources Board and securing a $15.4 million grant to acquire electric trucks, including the Tesla Semi. By December, PepsiCo had taken delivery of the first Tesla Semis and quickly integrated them into their fleet. The company stated that it took only a few weeks to install, apply branding, label the trucks, and train drivers. To support these new vehicles, Frito-Lay installed four Tesla megachargers, each capable of delivering 750 kilowatts of charging power. Preliminary cost-benefit analyses indicate that Tesla Semi offers massive economic advantages, not just for Tesla, but also for its future competitors. The Tesla Semi is proving to be a game-changer in range and charging efficiency. The first-generation model offers an impressive 500-mile range and can recharge to 70% in just 30 minutes using Tesla's proprietary megacharger technology. Tesla has committed to rapidly expanding this charging infrastructure, making long-haul electric trucking more viable than ever. By 2026, when full-scale commercialization begins, the semi's range is expected to increase significantly, while charging times could drop by more than 30%. With the 750 kilowatt megacharger network already in deployment, Tesla is leading the industry in battery energy density and charging efficiency. Let us know what you think in the comments section of this episode. Thanks.